there was a time in our country when the words matter, when laws and statutes matter. Mr. Secretary, Title 10, Section 231 of the U.S. Code required that you submit to us, to this committee, a shipbuilding plan when you sent your budget over so that we know where the money's going to be spent on our ships and that you certify that the budget you sent over complied with that shipbuilding plan. You just refused to do it this year. Title 10, Section 231A required that we have an aviation plan sent over to us and that you certify or have an assessment that the budget complied with it and you just refused to do it. House Resolution 477 was unanimously approved by this committee on both sides of the aisle requiring that you would submit to us that shipbuilding plan that the law required by September 15th and just refused to do it. HRS 478 required an aviation re resolution, that assessment, that you would just comply with the law and submit it to us by September 15th and just refused to do it. Title 50, Chapter 15, Subchapter 1, Paragraph 404A required that we have a national security strategy submitted to us by the President within 150 days after he took office. We didn't get it. The Guantanamo Executive Order issued on January 22nd, 2009 said that Guantanamo Bay would be shut down no later than one year from the date of this order, which was January 22nd, 2010. We know that's not going to happen. I disagree with that order, but that's what it said. So my question, Mr. Secretary, to you today is, is this. If we're not going to comply with Title 10, Section 231, Title 10, Section 231A, HRS 477, HRS 478, Title 50, Chapter 15, Subchapter 1, Paragraph 404, the Guantanamo Executive Order, what confidence do our allies and our troops and our citizens have that the words we are hearing now are words that have meaning and are not just semantics? And as you think about that question, Admiral, I would ask you this question. You testified earlier today that General McChrystal got all he wanted, everything he wanted when he asked for 30,000 troops. And the question I'd ask you, I've never known a general to get all he wanted. I've, I've known them to get all they formally requested, but not all they wanted. And I would just ask you, are you saying to this committee that all General McChrystal ever wanted was 30,000 troops? wage the war that he is having to wage now. So Mr. Secretary, I, I give you that time and then have a call. First of all, with respect to the 30-year uh, aviation plan and shipbuilding plan, uh, it was important for us to be able to get a uh, five-year defense plan from the administration so that we had some predictability. Okay. Um, and we are in the process of doing that. Uh, uh, the five-year defense plan has been put forward, it was not for uh, FY10. I can provide you that kind of, I can provide you a list, it'll be meaningless. Because we don't know. We don't know what the resources will be until we get the five year Mr. Secretary, and again, I don't mean to interrupt you, but that's not what the law is. And the law required that you submit whatever plan you're working on. If we have no plan, we need to know it when we're voting on budgets that we don't have a plan. We're waiting for it. But the, the reason that the law requires it is because it's important that we know that one, we have a plan, and what this budget is trying to reach in that plan. So with all due respect, I would appreciate, and I think this committee would appreciate it, at least some response back as to why we comply with the law. On that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Secretary. What I thought I said earlier about General McChrystal, what I meant to say was that uh, the strategy uh, that the President has executed and made this, uh, the decision on it with respect to the 30,000 troops is General McChrystal is going to get what he asked for in 2010. He's going to get them, those troops, in some cases more quickly than he had originally asked for them. Uh, and to me, that is significant because that will give him the thrust uh, and to turn the momentum around, turn this insurgency around, which is his number one concern. And Admiral, uh, outside, outside that longer term. And I appreciate that I only got eight seconds. And I'll just say this, it is a difference to us when we say he got all he wanted than all he officially required. I would agree that there are very few, if any, commanders that have ever gotten everything that they wanted myself and